The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to conduct a risk analysis in SPSS. The demonstration is based on the ever-occurring handedness and dyslexia data, where, based on a Pearson chi-square analysis, a disproportionate number of left-handers were found to be diagnosed with dyslexia relative to right-handers. Now, somebody might want to supplement such an analysis with a risk analysis. And to do so in SPSS, click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, cross tabs and make sure your handedness variable is in rows and dyslexia in the columns box. Click on statistics and make sure that risk is selected. Click continue and click OK. And SPSS will output the key result in the last table which I'm going to push out a bit so that we have all the results on each respective row rather than multiple rows. There we go. So I reported the results in the textbook as not especially attractive in terms of an intuitive way to interpret the risk analysis. That's not to say that the results reported here, for example, for cohort dyslexia equal yes, 0 0.096, it's not how I would want to interpret the risk ratio. I would rather flip it onto the other side so that I can speak of a greater risk of being diagnosed with dyslexia based on somebody's handedness. And to do so, write in the textbook that you should just recode one of your variables, and the handedness one is the key one here. So instead of having handedness coded as 0 equals right and 1 equals left, you could recode each variable so that they are flipped. So I want to actually convert all the 1s into zeros and all the zeros into 1s. And I'm going to do that with the transformation utility, transform into same variable, handedness, old and new values, so zeros now become ones, and ones become zeros. And click on continue, and click OK. So now one, a value of one, actually corresponds to being right-handed. So I actually have to change my value labels. So now that's a left-handed person, if they are coded zero and one is actually a right-handed person. And click OK. And now I'm just going to redo the analysis. And the risk analysis should produce a result that is more consistent with the manner in which I would prefer to report it, which is to say something about the greater risk in the direction that is consistent with the theory that Geshwin was testing with these data. So here we have the risk of being diagnosed with dyslexia as a function of being left-handed. So the risk is greater equal to 10.36, dyslexia yes, and the lower bound confidence interval on this risk value is 3.25, and the upper bound 95% confidence interval is equal to 33.05.